everyone, this is Keith Pugh, W5IU, your amateur radio moderator for today. Through the help of amateur radio volunteers and the crew on the ISS, we hope to soon establish ham radio contact with the International Space Station as it flies more than 200 miles above the Earth over Santa Rosa, California. This is all accomplished with ARIS, amateur radio on the International Space Station. The ISS currently is flying over the Pacific Ocean, whizzing along at around 17,500 miles an hour. The con this contact will be performed using the Amateur Radio Telebridge Network, a worldwide network of amateur radio ground stations that enable students to contact the ISS. Uh, ARIS is a consortium of ham radio volunteers from nine nations that develop and operate the amateur radio station on the ISS. Some members of ARIS are the American Radio Relay League, the Worldwide AMSAT Radio Amateur Satellite Corporations, uh, CSA, that's Canadian Space Agency, European Space Agency, the Japanese Space Agency, NASA in the U.S., and Roscosmos in the USSR in, in Russia. The uh, amateur radio ground station that will establish contact today with the ISS is W6SRJ in Santa Rosa, California, and it will be operated today by Tim Bosma, W6MU, Bill Hillendahl, KH6GJB, and Don Dalby, KE6UAY. Thanks for helping us out, Tim, Bill, and Don. We have about four minutes until contact time, and let's make sure all cell phones are off at this time. Please to, uh, please to ensure that there are no interruptions in our conversation. Our contact for today is with Virginia Reinhardt uh, Elementary School in Rockwall, Texas. The ham radio contact coordinator for the school is Douglas Quagliana. Can you raise your, raise your arm, Douglas? Back, back in the back. KA2UPW. Uh, we've asked Assistant Principal Veronica Murphy to please uh, briefly tell us about the school and the students taking part today. Thank you. Reinhardt is the third elementary school in Rockwell ISD. We were built in 1984 and it quickly established a tradition of educational excellence and leadership. Reinhardt consistently achieves the highest state ranking for student performance as we educate pre or kindergarten through sixth grade students. The school was named in honor of veteran Rockwell teacher Virginia Anderson Reinhardt. As in past generations, Reinhardt Rocket students strive to become young people that act on quality principles for the betterment of their community. Students at Reinhardt Elementary have been preparing for the contact by learning about the International Space Station through books, websites, videos, and our daily announcement. Our school Twitter feed has had a daily effect daily fact about the International Space Station. Students saw how to track the International Space Station as well. We are ready to learn what he has to say today. Thank you, Veronica. And uh, we're getting close on time, so uh, Tim, before the contact begins, please tell us about your ham radio station, where you are, and how you'll handle the conversation. Go ahead, Tim. Yeah, we're gonna keep this short, uh, perfect. Predicted AOS is uh, right about now. Anyway, uh, Ryan, uh, I'm, as soon as I establish contact, I will turn it over to you for the first question. Uh, and I'll say, uh, first students, go ahead, okay? So you're going to hear some noise, and here we go. We're going to start calling. NA1SS, NA1SS, NA1SS. So this is W6SRJ calling. Okay, Tomas, uh, we're getting carrier, but no audio. Um, you know, try it again. Go ahead. Yeah, we're getting extremely low audio, extremely low audio. Can you please uh, uh, get very close to the microphone? Over. Uh, just barely. Uh, probably have to wait another minute here, uh, or 30 seconds or so. Uh, your audio level is picking up, but it started out pretty low. Uh, try again, please. Yeah, still 
not quite making it. Uh, uh, not sure what to say here, except uh, let's hang on for just a second and try again. Uh, over. All right. Okay, we're still on C11. Um, you're coming, your audio is coming up, but it's probably going to take another uh, 15, 20 seconds. Try again, please. All right. Uh, Keith, how do you copy that on your end? It's still a little bit weak, uh, but I think we probably can make it. Okay, Tomas, we're going to try with the first question. Uh, Ryan uh, Kinder, go ahead and ask your question, please. Ryan Kinder, where do you put iron clothes since your space is so tiny oval? Recycling systems work on the ISS. Over. So you recycle as much as we can, and uh, we recycle water uh, more than anything. So we don't. We only need to be uh, to get water from the ground every every so often. So we recycle 85 percent of the water, and it's through collection, filtration, and then we drink it again. Over. Caprice, third grade. How do you control the ISS? Over. and uh, the experiment we take them and we look at all the 
requirements do you have to meet to be an astronaut? Over. Well, you need to be good health because the uh, launch is meant to, you know, when you ride the rocket and come back to Earth, that's, that's pretty difficult. Uh, and also when you do a PA, it's hard physically, uh, but also mostly you have to be good health because you've got to stay six months in space. So people have to be sure that you won't be sick and you won't have a serious problem, a problem for six months. So there's lots of doctors uh, watching our, our, our health on the ground and also remotely when we're on the ice that's over. Carmen, sixth grade. What do you do in your spare time while on board the ISS? Over. So in our spare time, and everybody has uh, their own projects. I have my saxophone up here, so I play the saxophone. I like to take pictures of the Earth. Uh, I like to call my friends and family to kind of share the experience with them. So that's what I do in my spare time. Over. Flying candle. What is the hardest part about being an astronaut? Over. Well, the hardest part about being an astronaut is probably that trying to take it a long, long time and you have to be able to do many different things. You don't have to be an expert in just one thing, but you have to be reasonably good at many different things. And also one of them is uh, speaking Russian. It's an international program, and uh, you have to learn how to speak Russian, and that's very difficult to follow. Richard, sixth grade. You go through a lot of training for your journey. Was there anything you were not prepared for? Over. W6SRJ in Santa Rosa, California, operated by Tim, by Tim, Bill, and Don, contacted Thomas Pesquet, KF5, KG5FYG, aboard the International Space Station, talking with students at Virginia Reinhardt Elementary School in Rockwall, Texas. Now, for the international volunteer team of ARIS, including the amateur radio satellite corporations around the world, American Radio Relay League, CSA, ESA, JAXA, NASA, and Roscosmos. This is Keith Pugh, amateur radio operator, W5IU, sending my greetings to all of you in amateur radio terms. 73, or best regards, and good luck. pretty well, all things considered. Uh, it uh, sort of mirrors last week uh, in terms of uh, acquisition and loss. So 
Hope everybody enjoyed it. Looks like all the kids got to ask at least one question, and it was our pleasure from Santa Rosa to be able to do that for you. Okay, thank you very much, Tim. And operator, you can go ahead and turn off the recording.